Hi guys, welcome to Bangnet Techies. In this video, I'm going to discuss about maximum summary sum problem. This is the most frequently asked question in coding interviews. We can call this problem as a maximum segment sub problem. Okay. So let's go through the problem statement first. Then we will uh, understand what could be the possible solution approaches to solve this problem. Okay. Okay. So let me jump into the uh, lead code. So here the problem is listed, problem number 5, problem number 53, maximum sub array. Given an integer array nums, find the sub array with the largest sum and return its sum. Okay, so array will be given. From that array, we have to find the sub array which have maximum largest sum. So there could be multiple combination of sub array. So we have to find out the max we have to find out the largest sum of sub array so this is our goal to get the largest sum from sub array okay so let me draw this uh, problem over here we have given nums so nums what is minus 2 1 minus 3 4 minus 1 minus 3 4 minus 1 2 1 minus 4 4 right so this array is given we have to think about the possible solution approaches to solve this problem so the first approach should be brute force right we can solve any problem with the help of brute force right so if we go through with this approach okay so we will iterate we will use two loop here to solve this problem one is outer loop which will start from i to n minus one the another loop will be inner loop which will start from j minus so this these two loops will be required in case of brute force so in that case the complexity will be o of n square which is not expected if we go through with this uh, approach we will get time limit exceeded okay this problem we will get in the lead code if we go through with this approach okay so what could be the another approach here? So the another approach is Cadenas algorithm. This is the most popular algorithm. This is uh, we can call is a uh, dynamic uh, dynamic uh, programming algorithm. So it's an iterative dynamic programming algorithm. So with this approach, we have to solve this problem. Max subaddition. Okay. So how can we solve this problem? We will maintain. So if we go through sliding window approach, so of course we need uh, two variables, we have to maintain the sliding window. That will also help, but I am more interested to discuss about the Cadenas approach here. Okay, we can solve this problem using sliding window approach as well. Okay, so but here I am more interested to so, uh, discuss about this Cadenas algorithm. So how can we solve this uh, with the help of Cadenas algorithm? So here we will maintain one index we can say start okay and we should have one current sum easily i use this as sum okay and we should have one more uh, variable which we in the cardinal cardinal algorithm so we can simply uh, use this term max sum i use this as max only okay okay so this uh, for this max i will always keep the first index value this one okay so nums of zero okay. nums of zero right 
right so we will start from uh, ith start index okay so let me start from okay let me okay so initially um, j is equal to 0 sum is equal to 0 and max is equal to what minus 2 okay right so uh, this is the max sum is 0 so for each iteration we will add sum is equal to sum plus nums of j okay so in this case initially sum is 0 then nums of j is minus 2 is equal to minus 2 okay so we will check if sum greater than what if it is greater than max then we will calculate max if sum is greater than max then we will calculate max but if sum is less than zero sum is a negative value if sum is negative so in that case we will set the sum is equal to 0. We will make this sum as 0 and we will increment j. So, with, the, with this way we have to uh, solve this problem max subarray. So, in this case we will always we will get uh, the subarray which have largest sum. If there is any negative sum we are getting we can simply make them as 0. Otherwise we will never get the result. Okay. So, this is the Cadenes algorithm. So, what is the Cadenes algorithm actually? So, it is an iterative dynamic programming algorithm. It calculates the maximum sum subarray ending at a particular position by using the max subarray ending at previous position. Let's dry run this problem. Okay. Int j is equal to 0 sum is equal to 0, max is equal to 2. This is the initialization. Okay. These are the initialization. Okay. So, if j is equal to 0, we will iterate from j to nums dot length we will iterate from j to nums dot length nums dot length right so j is equal to 0 sum will become 0 plus minus 2 right minus 2 which is less than 0. So, if it is less than 0, if it is less than 0, then we will make it as 0. Now, j is equal to 1. So, sum will become 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. So, initially max was minus 2. So, we will compare sum greater than max. Yes. So, we will assign max as 1. Okay. Now, again, j is equal to 2. Sum is equal to what? 1 plus 0, 1, 2. So, here at 12th position, we have minus 3. So, this will be minus 2, which is again less than 0. Less than 0. So, we will make sum is equal to what? 0 j is equal to 3, sum is equal to 0 plus 3, any 0 plus 3, 
the sum is equal to sum is equal to right sum is equal to zero sum is equal to is it sum is equal to 0 plus what nums of 3 is equal to 0 plus minus 3 sorry it's a 4 4 which is greater than max so max will be Four. Initially, it was max was one, right? Again, j is equal to four. Sum is equal to four ma four plus minus one is equal to three. So three is less than what? Three is less than four. So we will iterate further. J is equal to five. Sum is equal to 4 plus four plus two sorry three plus two five okay so five is greater than what max so max will become five initially it was four four now j is equal to six sum is equal to what five plus five plus one is equal to six which is greater than max so max will be 6 now j is equal to 7 sum is equal to what 6 plus minus 5 which is 1 but this is less than what 6 again we will see j is equal to 8 sum is equal to what 1 plus 4 is equal to 5 which is again less than 6 so this summary right so this summary is having max length of what this summary is having max length so here the max length is 6 this is the final output so this way we have to build our logic so let's build this uh, logic into the lead code here right so what we discussed here we maintain one indexed sorry start okay let me take it as zero okay while j less than nums dot length okay and j plus plus j will be now what are the other fields required sum is equal to zero this is required and in max is equal to nums of zero right right here we will add values okay. so nums j okay if this sum is greater than max we can simply get the 
my dot max is equal to my dot max max sum right if sum less than zero if there is any negative values then we will make this sum as zero right let me run this problem what sorry this should be oh my god sorry i missed this written statement return max right so these three test cases are accepted here okay let me submit this solution right so this uh, right so the problem is submitted and uh, all the test cases are passed here we can see the runtime is one less. so this is the most optimized approach to solve this uh, max uh, sum subarray problems with the help of parallel algorithm okay. so